Astro is a static first web framework held for its easy to use APIs and content driven philosophy. It allows users to ship highly performant static sites with zero client side JavaScript with its innovative islands architecture, allowing sprinkles of interactivity where needed. This video is going to be a whirlwind tour of Astro's greatest features aimed at devs with at least a little JavaScript experience. Let's all go and ship the fastest websites you ever done did see. Oh, and as a quick side note, if you'd like to see a production Astro site, check out my blog and portfolio site. It's open source and linked in the description. Run the Astro install wizard with your favorite packaging manager. I recommend using TypeScript and installing the sample files. Run the dev server to get a good first look at Astro. Astro has plugins for VS Code and JetBrains IDEs. You can also install community maintained plugins for your favorite text editor. I'd also recommend the Prettier plugin, Prettier plugin Astro. Astro is configured via the Astro config MJS file. This is where you'll register Astro plugins, configure adapters, and adjust your build settings. Static files are served from the public directory. Your website content can be found in the source directory. Components typically contains your components written in Astro or other front-end frameworks. Layouts is typically used to hold Astro components that define page structures shared by multiple pages. It's also common to have a styles directory for CSS files, though these are all just conventions. However, the pages directory is a required directory. Your website content will be served from here. Pages can be Astro components or Markdown files. Astro components are templating components that have no client-side runtime by default. They're made up of two parts, the component script and the component template. The component script is held within a code fence at the top of the file. This is JavaScript or type script that is executed at build time and can affect the compiled output. The component template is written using a HTML-like template syntax that supports JavaScript expressions, components, and special Astro directives. Use curly braces to insert the result of a JavaScript expression into the HTML markup. You can use JSX-like syntax to conditionally display components or repeat components with map functions. If you need client-side interactivity, you can add a script tag in your component template and use vanilla JavaScript to manipulate the DOM. Styling can be done using style tags. Import other Astro components using an import statement in the component script. You can then use this like a HTML component in the template. Define props for your component by destructuring the global astro.props property. Define the type of the props by specifying the props interface anywhere in the component script. You can also define default values for your props. Pass props to your Astro components like HTML attributes. Render child components in your props using a slot element. An unnamed slot Slot will become the default slot for your component. Give slots a name to allow multiple slots per component. Inject HTML content into a slot by placing the content within the Astro component's opening and closing tags. Inject into a named slot by specifying the slot property on the child. Define default content for slots by placing content within the slot element in your Astro component. Create a page by creating an Astro component in the pages directory. Astro uses file-based routing, so a page called blog.astro directly within the pages directory will be at slash blog. The default page is defined in index.astro. Link between Astro pages with standard HTML anchor tag. You may use a path relative to the root domain to avoid typing the whole URL every time. Pages can also be defined using HTML or Markdown files and follow the same routing conventions. If you'd like to create a custom 404 page, specify 404.astro or 404.md file at the root of the pages directory. Reusable page layouts are just normal Astro components. Create a layout by creating an Astro component with a default slot, then import it into your page to use it. These usually contain boilerplate code like HTML and head tags. Layouts can be nested. Create a markdown page by creating a markdown or MDX file in the pages directory. MDX files require the Astro MDX integration to be installed. We'll cover integrations later in the video. For now though, why not subscribe so you don't miss future videos about interesting frameworks like this one. Markdown files in Astro can include front matter YAML within a code fence. This is useful for defining metadata. The only reserved property is layout. Specify this property and a path to an Astro layout to use that layout for building the page. The layout must contain a default slot. The front matter properties defined in the markdown file will then be available in the layout component via the front matter prop. If you're using MDX, you can write JavaScript in your markdown. Exported variables will be available available within the page and anywhere the file is imported. You can also import and use components in MDX. Your markdown files can be imported in other Astro files. Use this to create a post list, for example. You can also use astro.glob to import many markdown files at once. Pass a type parameter to astro.glob to type the front matter. Astro will also add some extra properties to any imported markdown, such as file containing the file path and get heading, a function to get all of the headings in the file. Read more about these in the Astro docs. The content property on a markdown import is an Astro component containing the the 
rendered contents of a Markdown or MDX file. If you're using MDX, this can take a components prop, allowing you to override the components used in the rendering. Use an image in your .astro components by importing it. Your image must be in your source directory to be imported. If you need a public URL to your image, add it to the public directory and reference it using a path. For automatically optimized images, import the image component from Astro Asset. The image component must be used with imported images if you wish for the image to be processed. Generate an automatic source set for optimized images by specifying either the densities attribute or both widths and sizes. Change the image format with the format attribute. By default, Astro will convert your images to WebP format. If you'd like to use remote images with the image component, register the authorized remote domains in your Astro config. There are other configurable options in the config. Check the docs for more information. The picture component can be used to generate responsive images. Specify the formats attribute to create images of different formats. Local and authorized remote images in Markdown files will be automatically optimized using Astro's image service. This is the Sharp library by default, though it can depend on the hosting platform. For example, Vassell uses its own image optimizer. Add functionality to your Astro site using integrations. These can add additional UI frameworks, preprocessors, and new functionality to your site effortlessly. Examples of integrations include the MDX integration, which is required to use MDX on your site, or the Tailwind integration, if you'd like to use Tailwind CSS. Install an integration using the Astro Add CLI tool. Integrations are also used to enable server-side rendering, which we will discuss shortly. Check out the Astro docs for a list of integrations. Add client-side interactivity to your Astro project using Astro Islands. Islands are interactive UI components on the page. Astro allows you to send the UI for the component with the initial response, and then stream the JavaScript in later to improve the user experience. Astro supports using external UI frameworks like React or Svelte to create islands, and you can mix and match your frameworks. Simply install a relevant integration and then import your UI components as usual. By default though, Astro will strip out any client-side JavaScript. In order for the component to become interactive, add a client directive to the component. Client load will hydrate the component on page load. Use client idle to load after the initial page load, or client visible to wait until the component enters the viewport for the first time. Alternatively, use client media to hydrate at a certain screen size, or client only, followed by the UI framework to only render the component on the client. Astro sites can be rendered in one of three modes, static, server-side rendered, or a hybrid of the two. SSR and hybrid rendering require an SSR adapter to be installed. Change the output mode by specifying the output key in the Astro config file. In server mode, pages will be rendered on demand by default, whereas hybrid mode sites will be statically generated by default. Opt into or out of pre-rendering by exporting the pre-render constant from your page. SSR allows features such as the use of cookies, request and response objects in the page script and creating server endpoints. Create an endpoint by creating a JavaScript or TypeScript file in the pages directory. Define a HTTP method handler by defining a function of the same name, such as get or post. These functions take in an API context object and return a response. Create a dynamic route by specifying one or more root parameters in the file name with square brackets. Root parameters are available in the page via the astro.params object. If you're running in static mode, you must specify the get static paths exported function, which will return an array of objects, each of which defines a page. The function can be asynchronous, so you can use it to fetch content from a CMS or database at build time. Use a spread syntax in the root name to match paths of any depth. If your page is running in SSR mode, you can simply render the page based on the contents of the parameters. Get static paths should not be defined. Astro's routing capabilities are excellent. Check out the docs for more info. To organize your Astro content, create a content collection. These allow you to sort your content into directories, validate your YAML front matter, and add TypeScript type safety to your Astro content. Create a content collection by creating a new top-level directory in the source slash content directory. You cannot nest content collections, though you can still organize with subdirectories. Define collection configurations by creating a config.ts file in source slash content. Use the define collection function to set up the config for each collection. Register your content collections by exporting a record of collection names to the config definitions. You can also use Zod to validate your YAML front matter by including a Zod object schema under the schema property of the collection config. If you want to reference another collection, import the reference function from Astro content and include it in your Zod schema with the name of the reference collection. The schema property can also be a function. Use this with the image parameter to add images to your YAML front matter. Query your content collections in your components or pages using the get collection or get entry functions. Get collection will return all entries in a collection or use get entry with the collection name and entry slug to fetch just a single entry. Get collection takes a filter function as an optional second argument. Use get entries with an array of references to return data from any referenced collections. If you're running in static mode, use get collection to generate your static paths. Entries have a render function that you can use to create a content component to render your entries contents as HTML. You can also use get entry in SSR mode to fetch content on demand. Make use of the browser's view transitions API with 
Astro's View Transitions built-in component. Add it to the head of a page to enable view transitions on a single page, or add it to your layout to enable them for your entire site. Transitions are opt-in and will automatically respect users' reduced motion preferences. Add a transition name to a component or element using the transition name directive. Any elements with the same names across a page change will be transitioned between automatically. Add to the transition persist directive to keep content state across page navigations, or use transition animate to customize the transition used for that component. Adding the view transitions component to your site will turn it into a single page application and Astro will ship a small client-side router. By default, this will also enable data prefetching for links. You can disable this behavior using Astro's prefetch settings. More information can be found in the documentation, as well as more information on view transitions. Astro is an extensive framework and there's a lot I haven't been able to cover. Check out the documentation for more information on image optimization, font handling, internationalization, middleware, and much more. Or if you've decided that Astro isn't really your thing and you'd like to avoid having to write any front-end code, you might like to learn about HTMX. Check that out in this video here.